thank you for joining us on this Friday night on a day that changed America. We're outside the Supreme Court after the landmark decision that overturned Roe versus Wade and ended a woman's constitutional right to an abortion. As you can see behind me, demonstrators both for and against the court's decision were quick to react here in Washington and across the country. More than 100 cities have already seen protests or plan to over the weekend also reacting some of the nation's largest companies, announcing they will cover employee travel expenses for abortions if they are not available where they live. Some of those companies include Nike, Uber, Alaska Airlines, Citigroup, Condé Nast, Disney, J.P. Morgan, Microsoft, Warner Brothers, and CBS's parent company, Paramount Global. And we also heard from presidents past and present. President Obama called the ruling devastating. Michelle Obama called it horrifying. And President Donald Trump said this gives the rights back to the states as it should have been long ago. We have a team of correspondents across the country tonight covering every angle of this story. We'll start tonight with our chief legal correspondent, CBS's Jan Crawford. Jan, this has been quite a remarkable day. Well, Nora, I mean, Roe versus Wade is one of the few decisions most Americans know by name. And today, the Supreme Court said it's history. <laughs> When the crowd heard the court had overturned Roe versus Wade, there were cheers. It took every single one of us, people across the political and ideological spectrums, to make this a reality. A reality that for abortion rights supporters was hard to believe. This is a nightmare. I'm 21 and I'm terrified. In the 5-4 vote, the justices overturned the landmark 1973 ruling that guaranteed a woman's right to abortion, sending the issue back to the states to set their own policies. Roe was egregiously wrong from the start. Its reasoning was exceptionally weak, and the decision has had damaging consequences, wrote Justice Samuel Alito in a decision joined by four other conservatives. It is time to heed the Constitution and return the issue of abortion to the people's elected representatives. 26 states had asked the court to overturn Roe. 13 already have laws on the books that would ban abortion almost immediately. The others are poised to ban or greatly restrict it. Today, the Supreme Court of the United States expressly took away a constitutional right from the American people. President Biden blasted the decision. It's a sad day for the court and for the country. On Capitol Hill, Democratic lawmakers marched to the court while Republicans said the ruling was overdue. Alleluia. I woke up this morning praying for this, and I never thought that it would happen. Good evening. In a landmark ruling, the Supreme Court today legalized abortions. It took almost 50 years of annual marches for life, political muscle, and justices with a strong conservative legal ideology. Chief Justice John Roberts voted to uphold the 15-week Mississippi abortion ban, but refused to join the majority decision to overturn Roe or a subsequent 1992 opinion. With the court's newest justices, all nominated by former President Trump, there were five votes without him. Republican Susan Collins and Democrat Joe Manchin, who voted for Neil Gorsuch and Brett Kavanaugh, said they were duped, with Collins releasing a statement that they were both insistent on the importance of supporting longstanding precedents. But also a factor, the 2020 death of Justice Ruth Bader Ginsburg, a champion of reproductive rights, gave Trump his third nominee, who provided the key fifth vote. The three remaining liberals joined in a fiery dissent. Whatever the exact scope of the coming laws, one result of today's decision is certain, the curtailment of women's rights and of their status as free and equal citizens. And Jan is with me here with more. So Justice Clarence Thomas wrote a separate opinion as well. It has some wondering, is same-sex marriage, is contraception next? Well, I mean, it, that's right, because those are grounded in some of the same rights. But the court, in the majority opinion, said no. Uh, how could we be any more clear? This case is different. Abortion is different because it involves a human life. 
those cases, the right to contraceptive, the right to same-sex marriage, could, are not being cast in doubt or threatened by this ruling, the court said. But Justice Thomas wrote that separate opinion saying he thought they could be on the table. But that's one justice. It takes five. But what if the states move on same-sex marriage or to block contraception? Well, then that would be challenged. It would come right back to the Supreme Court, and you'd probably have eight justices then. Thomas might be here saying, get out of here. All right, Jan Crawford, thank you.